What's going on, everybody? It is Saturday morning. I believe it's the 28th. It is around 945 in the a.m. Um, working, just getting this guy up ready for the day. Hopefully, I'm off at noon. I'm planning to take Bishop to uh, Incredible Pizza with a couple friends. They'll probably get and do some shopping, things like that. I get some stuff done I haven't been able to do in a, in a week or two because uh, I've been working so much. I had a, a question somebody um, uh, asked me uh, recently because I uh, haven't been doing the shows coming out. Now that COVID's, uh, uh, I guess, cured or uh, the vaccines or whatever's going on with the COVID stuff, it's, oh, things are opening up. So um, the wrestling shows are happening. There was a three this weekend. And a couple of the fans asked me why I wasn't on any of these shows. Am I, you know, now that COVID's done, am I just, uh, did COVID claim a victim, another victim, and I'm done with the wrestling business, or uh, I, um, I'm i quitting, or or whatever the case. They, they, I forgot the, the terms they use, but um, uh, it's it's like this. I Some of us wrestlers are also adults, and we have jobs, and... I took on a couple shifts uh, about a month ago that um, I uh, had agreed to. A lot of people, I had a young lady who works the weekend here at this job. I had to go back home to, uh, I think she's from like Zaire in Africa, for about uh, so it was four weeks. So I had wanted to help her out and um, do what I could. Uh, so I agreed to work um, for her hours for shifts. It turned into more than I thought. But another guy, his wife, just had a... Uh, a baby so he took a couple shifts off on the weekends and i've been filling in for him and um and i like working the guy working with the guy that i work with so uh it's easy but um so i just i just filled in and i got kind of in over my head um these shows got booked and not that i was going to be on the, the, actually the live action or live action next level i was supposed to work i just they asked me to work i just was um busy uh so they're asking but um I, I, and i hear this because a lot of people who wrestled uh, give this uh, thing where they retiring and they're done with the business and it's usually because of some big dramatic thing that happened in their life or whatever so they have to have to walk away and you know you hear the desperado music playing in the background as they pan out but uh, the the thing with wrestling um, and I hate putting myself over but I will when you're when you have more tools in your toolbox than just the in-ring stuff and you truly love pro wrestling, you're never going to be done with pro wrestling. There's always going to be somewhere for you. For myself, my passion's always been training people, and that's what I'm getting back into now. Um, I can do commentary. I I mean, I can do reffing, but I hate it. I don't want to be a manager. Uh, I can do backstage. I can run stage. I can do uh, voice, uh, not voiceover, but uh, announcing. Um, um I, and I just do, there's a lot of different things I bring to the table than my in-ring performance. Uh, actually, the in-ring performance stuff is like the third on my list of things I like to do. I can promote, I can, um, you know, book. Uh, so there's a lot of different things I do, I bring to the table than um, just my in-ring performance. And I truly love wrestling. I'm always going to be involved in some aspect or another. So when people say that, it kind of get kind of upsets me a bit because if you truly love your craft and you truly came up and you truly... Uh, did a few things in this business uh, you appreciate it and you want to give back and you find a way to keep in the only people generally who don't you know do that is I mean, maybe a guy finds some you know career where he just can't be free uh, to do anything or, 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 or whatever it is or you know um, but if you truly, if it's in you and you're, you you love it, you're going to find a way to stay in it. Why just watch at home and critique when you could do something in the wrestling business um, at, a, at a good level? You know, so uh, I see that all the time. And, and, and people want to act like the fucking business owes you something. The business doesn't owe you anything. Um, if anything, you owe the business. Um, you know, I've had a lot of great times, a lot of great memories. Met some freaking amazing ass people in, in this business. Uh, and I wouldn't take it back for anything. Um, so I just, it, it really, it's just upsetting when I, when I see this from people who are giving advice to greenhorns and, um, these guys really haven't done anything in their life and they're telling this big dream. I had to walk away. No, you probably walked away because nobody was booking you because you really don't have much value or the company you worked for shut down because that was the only people booking you, you know, so there's a lot of things that go into it. Um, so I, I just, you know, I, I just wish 
you know, when you ask questions of people who say they were wrestlers or say they've been in the ring, uh, check their history and the background and, and their resume and the things they've really done uh, to before you you uh, take their advice. You know, um, just because somebody's wrestled some shows for a lot of years doesn't mean they're legit or they're a vet. Okay, uh, so uh, so not to piss a lot of people off who are say they're in the business, but I will. The the key thing I, I tell people. If you've ever made a living off pro wrestling, that's been your sole income. You paid for your house, you paid for your car, you uh, bought your groceries, paid your cell phone bill, took care of your family solely off wrestling, then you can say you're in the wrestling business. If it's just your part-time thing you do and you, you know, you live with your mom still or you live, you know, your girlfriend pays the bills, you're not in the business of pro wrestling. You're a hobbyist. It's like a guy that goes plays golf on weekends or plays pickup games of basketball. Um, it's a hobby for you, you know. So. Um, I had a, I had an opportunity for about seven months where I lived solely off wrestling to pay for everything I was doing it was when I was in uncut in Portland. Other than that, I've made some good side money. I've been wrestling a lot of big shows for a long time, but it was never my job to be a pro wrestler. So uh, when you can say that you've done that, that has paid a bulk of your bills, then you know you can give advice. Other than that, you just you're a hanger on her. You're an underneath guy, you know. So don't you shouldn't give advice to people, you know. Um, but I, I'll leave it at that because I know that's going to upset some people, but uh, we have to, if we want to take this business back, we have to have legit vets stand up and help the younger generation out. Don't just shit on the leg slapping stuff and the flippity flips. Uh, wrestling evolves and there's a place for all of it. We just got to curtail it to what we need. So um, I, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll end on this note. I love professional wrestling. There's been some shitty times, but I love it to no end. And I'm glad that I have a chance to, to the opportunity to go back and, and teach people again, um, to live my passion again. I'm blessed that, that that's happening, uh, and I look forward to it. There's going to be some bumpy times along the road, but, um, hey, I'm, I'm looking forward to making it happen. And if you've been in this business for a while, and there's people ahead of you that are considered more vet than you are, uh, make sure that you give back and that you respect what they've done for you and that you, um, how did I say this professionally, that you are not doing things to paint a bad picture or to detour people from things um, to gain for yourself. Because at the end, when you're a true vet and when you truly bring a lot to the table, nobody can hold you back and it makes it that much easier to crush people. So I will end with saying I love you all. I will talk to you later. Make sure you like, subscribe, click the bell icon, and deuces. What are you doing? So, sorry. And this is how I met Tyler Durden. Tyler also worked sometimes at the banquet waiter at the luxurious Crestman Hotel. But every Saturday night, we were finding something new. Welcome to Fight Club. This conversation is over. Is over.